wife, you banged some chick in her bed. Yeah, she said change yes. the sheets. <laughs> and she said it was all right. It's fine. She oh loves God. her son. <laughs> she does love you, Slate. God damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slink, man, it's your first week. I know. It's been busy. Man, who would have ever thought we'd be working together? Well, we worked together before, too. Yeah, oh, I guess we did. Yeah. Now you gotta listen. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all see that jump right there? <laughs> yeah. What's going on, guys? Uh, we were in the merch room. Man. Uh, I've been outside, you know, I'm, I'm trying this new deal. I'm going to show you all in a minute. It doesn't look the best, but, uh, you know, shout out to Cameron Johnson for getting me hooked up with a welder. Um, I told him there's uh, there's sometimes that, like, you know, when headers break and shit, it may not look the best, but I want to be able to fix it on the fly at the track here in the shop, and I don't have to go over there and take it over to him every single time. So he got me hooked up with a welder, got everything ready, and... Uh, Fake bags making too much noise. I don't want it to see. Oh, no, you're noise. good. You're good, Slinky. Go ahead, keep going. You keep working, Slinky. Um, so, uh, we're going to be able to fix things ourselves and also do some other stuff inside the shop. So, when we get outside the shop, we'll go ahead and explain that. But right now, as you can see, we're getting the merch room all set up. Are you watching Bring It On? Bring yeah. It on. You ain't never seen that movie? No. Yeah. I knew immediately when I seen The Blonde. The cheerleader movie? Yeah. I never watched What? The <laughs> I knew immediately. Um, anyway, guys, you can see we got the merch room getting set up. If you head over to our website, www.justinswarnstrom69.com, we just launched a brand new sleeveless hoodie. The sleeveless hoodie, people wear it, you know, out in the sun and go to the gym. It's very breathable. It's badass. We got a bunch of new hats. Check out the hats. Guys, we even got the American flag theme back in. We got the camouflage in. We even got flex fits right there. Snapbacks, flex fits. We got koozies that are going to be on the website here soon. We're going to have a bunch of koozies. We got can koozies. We got slim can koozies. We got bottle koozies. We also got Skyler. He showed up too. Yeah. Finally. I'm not only, doing no work, but I'm here. It only took him what? Like four months to get here. I feel like he he went to the he went to the other side of the world. I broke my ankle. Well, not broke an ankle, but I had to get it fixed. I'm here now. My man was chasing after a female and broke his ankle. You know you did not. Dude, that may or may how not do you true. chase after a female and break your ankle? Then I wasn't chasing after Didn't even get the girl. Oh. And. Bro, I don't even bro. chase my liquor, bro. Hey, <laughs> hold on. So what'd you say? I don't even chase my liquor. <laughs> Chased after the girl, didn't get the girl, and had to go home with a broken result. That's, that's worse than a broken heart. That's pride. That's broken yeah. pride. You can't win them all. <laughs> you can't, you can't win, win them all, guys. <laughs> that's it, it is. But. Skyler's gonna be here. He's our new video guy. He's gonna be getting all the content for us. He's gonna be pushing out content. Um, yes, I will still be the one that goes over and uh, sees everything, but uh, you know, it's gonna help us out tremendously. I've gotten so busy and this deal has gotten so big. Um, it's, it's past me, it's grown past me. I do still handle all the merch orders and all that and get everything done and I try to do as much as I can to be able to appreciate y'all because without y'all, we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, but uh, he is gonna be able to take a big load off of my back. That did, did, did come out right. <laughs> Shout out, Dardell, we got even our, we got our grind, hustle, and execution up there. You got my little office right here. It is mess in here because we just got a bunch of stuff and we're still trying to get everything assorted before we leave for our Street Outlaw No Prep Kings. As we come out here, the shop is still getting a little uh, organized. All this stuff that's up here, that's going inside the trailer. The trailer is completely empty right now. And everybody has always been asking, what happened with the Swan Gang Swan Wall Art? Well, as you can see, guys, Again, if you head over to our website, www.justinswarnstrom69.com, you can get your name on the wall inside the shop. You go over there, you click on the Swan Game wall art, you get that thing purchased, put whatever you want on there, and we will get it put up into the shop. It will stay there forever. So that's just another thing we got going on. But like I said, shout out to Cameron for getting me hooked up with all the welding stuff to be able to get ready. I'm gonna have something for here inside the shop. As you can see, working on a little something right now, just playing around with it. Bought a new helmet, got that thing going in. We still got to run a little bit of electrical for the compressor. Um, these deals over here, we're going to put uh, 3 8 air hose over there, real, and we're going to put a reel there so we can be able to have air all the way around the shop 
but we are slowly but surely getting everything ready. We're supposed to be going to pick print up up uh, next week, bring it home, because we got a lot of work to do on that thing before we can start testing, because we're only three weeks out from the first NPK race that's in Ohio. Um, it's, it's definitely gonna be a tough deal, but I plan on testing every day up to the event if I have to, to be able to get print up ready, to be able to go to the first race. Uh, we're moving all this shit because he just orders stuff and doesn't know when it's got blood um, to the podcast room. So I got more room to pack some more. You good, sir? Thank you. Oh. Shit. Everybody being productive. Yeah. For more room. Now I don't have anything to put in the gels. But it's looking good, it's like. 3x and 5x. I need two of these to stay. I think I need me a 5x. Do you? Yeah. That's my size. Don't even fuck around, dude. No, man. I can, I can fit that. I, I can give you some of mine and you can definitely fit it. <laughs> a blanket, a dress. You can call it what you want, but I can fit it. I call it. They asked me what size I am. I said a queen size sheet. <laughs> Be right. How's your first week working, Slink? It's my first day, but how's your, your first, first? Yeah, how's that your first good. week? Today's Friday. It's the last day, but obviously, you know, we work on Saturday, Sundays too around here. Um, we do that just so we can get the program because we're so busy throughout the week. We do need an extra two days during the weekend get some stuff done. Uh, I think we're gonna clean out the trailer tomorrow. I think Brian's gonna come up. Um, what we're gonna do is clean out the trailer, get it ready for the season. But other than that, I mean. Just shipping orders, cleaning the shop up, moving things around, getting things ready for the season. Uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, me and Justin did friends for a long time. So at the end of the day, working from one of my best friends is actually like a good goal of mine. I know I got to step up and I got to make sure that, you know, I make him proud and make everyone else proud around here because I am supporting Swan Gang brand, supporting him going through everything so I'm just gonna do the very best I can just so I can help him make him look good so in the future we all can look even better <laughs> boys a little, little stuffy up top up there son <laughs> now I'm glad I wore shorts today that Florida heat oh that humidity boy it'll get to you son that's I why we call it. it the swamp down here what's the kid got up here in the drinking here for me Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna steal this Mountain Dew. He's gonna be mad as fuck. Yeah. Huh? Good. I didn't know what he said for a second. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I heard that, I heard that. He had a mouthful. <laughs> that looks heavy. <laughs> it's just folded weird and I couldn't grab it. It's not heavy, it's awkward. That's the answer. What's going on, guys? Today is uh, basically organized oh, yeah. load up day. See, there we go. We put one of those in there. Then that thing was the whole middle. Um, check out our new system we got in the trailer for this year. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Um, we may not race for shit. We may not even win a single round. But we're going to listen to good music and we're going to eat good at the race track. Ten bucks in my ride and I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, give me that right nut, bitch. Come on. <laughs> That's not perfect, that is, bitch. Yeah, well, go ahead and give me your right nut. No, it's no. It's the wrong spot. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, no. I, I match it to that side. I match you. It's not right here. Look. Match look, it to that look, side. Look. Match it to that One, side. One, two, three. Yeah, but I match One, it to this two. side. I match then you it should have looked side. over to the other side. No, Do you no, look no. left and right when you cross the road, or no. do you only look left? I only look left. <laughs> you know, I'm from England, son. They did do that in Australia. Oh, the shit's because the roads are it's different backwards. over there. So, like, you know, your, your normal deal, when you walk up to a road, because how the roads are, like, the traffic that's coming to you is right here. The traffic's coming to you is, like, right there. So, it doesn't matter what road, what side of the road you're on, you always look left and right, correct? Right. Well, for the most part, like, if I was going to come up on a road and say I was on this side, I would look to the left because the traffic would be coming to me. Well, in Australia, it's opposite. So even though there's no traffic this way, you're like, all right, no big deal. So you just walk. You when go. you pass that road, 
you think you're clear for the other road where that's where the yeah. traffic's coming. Yeah, right. So like, dude, we be walking, and then all of a sudden traffic be coming right toward towards us. We're like, whoa, shit! So hey, it took us a little while to figure it out. It's another thing. Um, new, new. I mean, I knew we. Okay, yeah, so I got it all new. new. So we're all new again. So that needs to come back down here. Yeah, I got everything ready for this year. Guys, right, we even go through. We're gonna we label all our stuff. Shout out to the green duct tape. Uh, green duct tape's badass, man. So it makes it so much badass. easier to, to do that. I think we even got our little cabinet for our BP. Our oh. lubricants, lower luber oil, rear gear, transmission fluid, and our engine oil. What's in this one? Oh, this is the radio cabinet. It's been a while since I've been in here, guys. So, When's the last time we raced B? October? Ooh. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Bradenton. Yeah, we ran right to December. How's it going? All right, buddy. How you been? <laughs> it's good. Yeah. My first week here. First week here. Ooh, we. Remember, remember that one video we shot, you know, down in Bradenton, you know, said, you know, come help your friend with the race car. It'd be fun. And <laughs> said, well, you fit to learn all about it, so you fit to see all the fun. We all been there, huh, Slink? Uh -huh. Hey, Slink. I don't know. Here you go. I want you to take this. All right. This has got one of the fans' names all on it. So when like this Friday, mm -hmm. you know when y'all are doing your live everyday live Friday thing, mm -hmm. you, do me a favor. Get, get get me some stars for this belt. Give it to one of the fans. Okay. All right. And say it's from Big Daddy B. All I right. I got you. All right. You heard that, guys. You heard that, guys. It's gonna go to one of you guys. So tune in whenever we go live on TikTok or Facebook or wherever. You know, the live Friday deal. So whenever whenever you see that pop up on your phone that says Justin Swanstrom is now live and he invites you, come on, because this is going to go to one of you guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kai Musi is my favorite. <laughs> Kai Musi. Kai Musi. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever met Kai Musi? I have. Yeah. He's a nice guy. <laughs> He's ugly, though. He's the ugliest sin. <laughs> Man, Akai Musi is the ugliest dude I've ever seen in my life. I like how we got all these like funny names. You got Captain Stabbing. How about we, Cap, Cap, where's, where's Captain Stabbing at? Captain Stabbing right here. All right, Captain Stabbing. Then you got a... Uh, how about old G-Buck? You know G-Buck, George G-Buck Willis? Yeah, I met him once. Old G-Buck Willis? So. He, he's great, dude, man. Um, we got all the guy with the small gang tattoo. He's in our Discord chat, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyler. Uh, Tyler Hoss, yeah, he's also in here. Tyler Hoss, um, Tyler. And you got uh, Donald Trump even bought a spot on the yeah. wall. Oh, Donald Trump, man. Um, yeah, I love it. Then you got two Adam Moore. <laughs> Old Adam Moore. And then you just got Alan. Yeah. Old Alan. Just Alan. <laughs> just Alan. Just Alan. You know Alan? Uh, I know a Alan. I don't know if that's the same Alan. Yeah, that's Alan. That's Alan. That's Alan. He's Inlet Tank is my favorite, though. Inlet Tank. Yes. I don't know whoever Inlet Tank is. There's still more names to go up there too, isn't there? Uh, not. Uh, I think Justin said he had a couple yeah. more. He was getting burned uh, up. Uh, David Tweedle bought two spots. Did he? Yeah, yeah he bought one Tweedle. Right there, one right there. Well, Tweedle, look. I mean, he got he bought the black one and the fucking green. Yeah. One. Um, the OG Swan Gang pulled these nuts. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Okay. Dude, I woke up this morning. At Four o'clock. I don't How's, lie. How's Dude, that? I know why I woke up. So, it was hot again? No, it wasn't hot. I was, I've been dreaming a lot here lately. I don't know why. Like, and I don't ever dream. Like dreaming about what? Though? Just anything. But listen, so this morning dream, um, and I'm very fucking particular whenever I dream, as in like, if something happens in the dream, I try to prevent that from happening for three days. That's how, that's how I am. Right. So, I was, I was fucking, and it was such a reality and so real to me that when I woke up, I freaked the fuck out. And it, it was at four o'clock in this morning, this morning. So anyways, I was sleeping and I was driving my truck. And have you ever seen a diesel motor where it basically just runs off with itself? Runs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, runs yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. I was driving and even though I was trying to come to a stop, the motor was running away. And I was, I was on the brakes, I was hard, it was just back there fucking roasting the tires. And, just, and it, we were still going though. The pot, and I couldn't get to a stop. And I'm fucking, so I was fucking driving the truck back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally, fucking flipped the truck around and wrecked. And I woke up immediately. When it was wrecked? 
right when it was right. I'm talking about, dude, like straight to dead sleep. Just so fucking, I got a gas of air. So you said you were in the dually. Yes. Okay, so. No dually driving. No, for the next three days. <laughs> next three days. Okay, all right. So, so you I, hear that? I'm big. You got that. No dually driving. Next I'm three big. days. I'm big on stuff like that. And I don't know why I drink like that, but it, it was fucking me up. So anyways, I woke up at four, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a shower and get, re get ready for the day. Took a shower, went back, laid back down around five, passed out. He was out. Then I woke up at 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Guys, y'all thought I was joking, but I'm not. I'm dead serious about the whole driving the dually thing. So we're gonna take my 250 for the day. It did just get clean, so it's a little, it's a little bit better than what it was. My brother's been taking it out. He took his old lady out yesterday. Um, that's kind of really the only reason why I keep it around. Um, it's paid for. I bought the 450 to be able to carry the merch trailer, but uh, my brother likes to take this out. It's got the music and stuff in it for him and his friends. So got some of this stuff in there but as you can see it's got all the speakers in the door it's got speakers up top there so Tyler likes to take it out go into city of Tampa have fun with it and everything when you come back here it's got speakers back here he likes to just uh hit the little boom boom but uh we're gonna go ahead and take it to lunch today <laughs> I can. I'm kind of tall. I can. Get you can get it that. up there. Yep. Yeah. Right, switch off the. Yeah, just don't let it roll up and stick to each other. Hell yeah, look at that. Fucking take old Scotty's job. Easy job. Turn around, fuck camera all day, son. Fuck yeah. This is my kind of work right here, Scotty. Put you twisting them wrenches on that race car, son. Tough right now. Oh, dude, you good, bro. Do the top first, pal. Don't worry about the bottom. Roll the bottom here a little bit. Roll up with your left side a little bit. Try to get you square. It's fighting with me. Alright, now go up to the left side. Your left hand go up. Right here? Yeah. Right there. Alright. Push on it hard, Scott. There you go. There you go, right there. Alright, now pull that down. Hell yeah, look at that, son. Now push the whole picture against the wall. There you go. Hell yeah. Little man. You're gonna be proud of that. Look at it, son. Find a home for these bad boys. You know, back 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 in the sprint car days, you know, it's like they had a uh, a tire rack that, that mounted on the back of their trailers and they would just throw all the tires there. Jugs. Yeah, so what was so that? Four, four jugs will last us to go testing yeah. and stuff too. So we'll put four, we'll put four 55 gallon jugs. Shout out to BP. Hell yeah, BP. <laughs> BP guys going on, guys. Hooking us up. Uh, guys, we're just trying to figure out, you know, how much fuel we're going to use and everything. Uh, right now, basically off of last year's testing and racing. Um, so you just up, roll those right up and Freedom up burns right about 30 gallons of race. So. Uh, that's basically just I'm simple math I did. It may be a little less, first, it may be a little bit more. Down, then we can but uh, down flat 30 gallons of race. We got five races in June, so you do 30 times five. It's simple math, right? 30 times five, what you got? Oh. Uh, how, what is it? Uh, so uh, how I would, how would you do it? So I'll tell you how I do it. I do 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, I would just go 30, uh, 30 times 5, 150. Or you can just go 3, 6, 9, 12, okay. 15 out of 0 to it. So what's 40 times 6? 40 times 6 is 240. It's pretty fucking good. I ain't going <laughs> to lie, guys. It's pretty good. All right. I got one for him. Don't forget all stupid. I mean, uh, I mean simple, 50, math, like 50 said, simple math is simple, you know? 50 divided by 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. Damn, the slink. That one's the slink, easy. The slink wouldn't have got that. <laughs> slink wouldn't have got that. Slink wouldn't have got that, he said. So anyways, guys, like I said, so we got the tires. So like, our, our first month is going to be the most miserable month. We got to make sure we have all the spare parts, and that's the game plan. So uh, we get about 22 to 25 runs on tires. 
we're not going over 25 runs. Did that shit last year and it mm. fucking ended up costing us. So 25 runs, that's it. And then we ended up giving the tires away to a fan or something. Um, so we're going to make sure. So, you know, if we hit every round Friday and every round Saturday, you'll make 10 passes in a weekend. 10 times 5 is 50. So that's 50 passes that we're going to make just off racing if we won every single round. Uh, shout out to Lee. Um, so uh, like I was saying, basically... Uh, hey, will you, will you back up? I, I, I kind of forgot. You know, you, yeah. phone call fucked me up. So it did, I, did? It got can, you? Yeah, can you re rewind? rewind we'll go back, we'll go back about 10, 10 seconds real quick. Okay. Um, so 25 passes per tire set. Right. We are going to make, if I plan on winning every round, Okay. Want the gym. So how many how many rounds? So that's that ten goes? rounds on every, for Friday and Saturday times five. That's fifty passes that you're gonna make just racing alone. Fifty not, passes. Not counting your testing. So oh. I'm gonna go ahead and bank on. We're gonna make twenty five passes before we get to our first race. Oh, testing. Yeah, I sure. plan on testing, testing, and testing. So I'm banking on us having seventy five passes on the car setup. So, but what if by you the end of June? So that means. We got a set of tires that's on the car now. It'll go 25 runs. Yeah. We got a new set right here that'll take us to 50 runs. Yeah. And we got a last set that'll take us to 75. We're going to be coming back home after June. So we're we'll, covered. We'll restock the trailer. We'll get everything ready because we're off in July. And then we go back out August. Mm -hmm. Oof. So we try to give ourselves a little headway and uh, just get, you know, a little better with it and make sure that, make sure we're covered. That's what I want to do. This we're year covered. is going to be about being covered, precise. I tell you, that's one thing I learned about, you know, uh, my, my beard's not perfect, B. It ain't perfect, but yeah, it's, 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 it's getting a little get better. But one thing I've learned about growing a beard, it takes patience. You, 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 you know, you want to know how you make it perfect? What's that? You pee on it. Pee on the beard? Pee on the beard and it'll make it yeah, perfect. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go that route. But Come we'll... on. Well, no, you don't. You don't go that route. You, you get one of your little girlfriends. Ah, uh, I see what you're know, saying. Mm. Pee on it for you. Slinky ain't getting no Get you a golden house. shower, you, you know? Slinky, tell B how you hit Bingham. In your mom's bed. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, she couldn't roll over. B. She couldn't roll B. over. Would you ever do that in your parents' bed? Never. 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 I asked. Never. I asked. The fuck you mean you asked? <laughs> you, you asked your mom if you'd be all right if you banged some chick in her bed. God, she said yes. the sheets. <laughs> and she said it was all right. That's fine. She oh, loves my. her son. <laughs> she does love you, Slank. Golly. Damn. Damn. So anyways, guys, mom, so yeah, we're my getting... My mom would say, hell no, you can't we're do getting, that, We're getting dad. everything prepared in uh, the trailer, and uh, once we get the car home, get it all hey. done, everything's good to go. All right. Hey, come on, Oaks. Come on, Oaks. Hope she don't jump off. You're stupid. She did. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Here. Come here. Go ahead. Right off that bitch. Ain't play around. I mean, we can just, just watch your head. We just watch your head, Slay. You cut no hole in the roof. Your dad will have a shit. Hope. Put that thing down. Oh, dude, we're golden. Yeah, it's there. Dude, it's right there. It's there. Go, go, come out here and look at that. No. We we built it like that. We knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> look at that side. <laughs> nah, that's clearance. It ain't even touching. And then we roll it up like that. And the car rolls right on in, right baby. In. We're, We're good. good. Gold. All right, let's go down. Okay. Man, speak, speaking of car, I mean, well, I mean out Monday. here we are two weeks away from race season, and we, we don't even have a car yet. I mean, it's all right. So when, we, when we perform our best. We kind of got in right on the ragged edge here. It's all we? updated, though. When you see it, it'll be nice. It's like a brand, it's almost practically a new car. Brand new? I was just—I was kind of thinking. I'm trying to figure out how many races to fuck it up. But. Well, well, I was just, hold on. That's what I was just gonna say. When it gets here, can I just rip off a little piece of duct tape and just stick on it? You know, maybe that'll be our like, our our good luck charm or something to not we'll not tear a car up. We're gonna try to do the non duct tape deal this year. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Let's just put a little piece on it. I don't know if you want to ruin it like that. No, come well, here. it's not that I want to ruin it. I come just want to make sure that we don't put no more on it. There you go. Just fucking put it up on 80. It ain't going to run that much on 80. Especially at night. And then, like I said, it'll keep, you see, you feel how humid it is in here? Yeah. It'll keep the humidity out, at least. Hell yeah. 
better read it. Change it. Chip. Now, Podcast room. Big ass cricket right there, son. We get a Guys, we got it with our website. We just released this. It's a new sleeveless hoodie. Badass. Head over to the website, www.justinswantrop69.com, and you can get yours. What sizes do you have? Um, on these, only got large, extra large, 2X. But shirts with small, 5X. We're going to have Slim Can. We're going to have Regular Can. We also got bottle koozies that are coming in this week. And we even got some new designs that you'll have to wait until the next clip so we can show you all that. But if you head over to our website, you can get your koozies. We are also coming out with a Swan Gang swag pack and a mystery box. A lot of stuff we're doing this year. Uh, merch is definitely one thing that I want to focus on. And uh, we've been doing well, extremely well. We're trying to get the merch room all set up. Get it ready to go before we get started in our busy, busy season. Yeah, yeah we got the camera. We we'll didn't put that on the shop. It's going up right now. It's going so up right now. Tell them, let them know, it's late. You got it camera. Got, it just got uploaded. It just got uploaded. To what website, Slink? Just swansom69.com. Hell yeah. It's where you get all your merch, shirts, hats, and a couple other things that are going up here. Shirts, in a hats, koozie soon. A whole bunch of deals going on right now. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Keep going. My bad. Keep trying. My bad. Of course, when I bite that motherfucker off. See, you now why you gotta go there, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why you can't joke with him, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, listen, thank y'all for watching the video. Uh, it's It's been a fun, fun process. And uh, listen, we're, we're growing. We just hit 80,000 subscribers and we won't be able to do this without y'all. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. Um, I'm going back in the office. We just got back from the gym. That's another thing that we're starting up. Uh, I've been going to the gym here lately. I, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that has been commenting, talking about the weight loss. I have worked hard to be able to try to cut weight off. I am down about 47 pounds right now uh, from last year. So now uh, I basically just made it you know, a recommendation that all of us are gonna start going to the gym in the morning. So we just got back. I'm going in the office right now. We got some things that Skylar's got to go do, some stuff that Slinky's got to do. The trailer is packed up. Yeah, everything except, except for the car and, and the golf cart yeah. stuff. We do got to bring the car home. We're supposed to go pick the car up this week. We got a lot of stuff happening. We're picking the car up this week. Uh, we're going to do a driving course with Todd Hormone Logics, our sponsor. That's going to be awesome. We got to fire the car up. We got to get it ready. We got to change the rear gear. Um, and then, you know, finalize loading the trailer up. And then next week is when we start testing for Street Outlaw MPK season six. So uh, I'm happy to be able to do that. As you can see, the shop is somewhat clean. We got our welders and stuff over there, our carts, our pit bikes, everything's ready to go. Our merch room is uh, looking good, guys. If y'all uh, y'all want some merch, head over to our website, www.justinswanstrom69.com and get your merch. Y'all have been straight killing it i think i just looked at it. i think we're up like 102 orders just over the weekend and that's that's amazing it keeps us busy it keeps us going and everything goes right back into the program we are also doing a giveaway this year so get ready for that um, there's a lot of stuff coming to the channel um i know i've been saying that a lot lately but i feel, really feel like i have a team around me now that can make it happen and uh we're gonna be able to start doing some cool stuff so if you haven't done already make sure you subscribe to the channel new videos are coming out every tuesday